What's up, YouTube? Just Gav here, bringing you guys a brand new video up onto the channel. Today's video is going to be us live reacting on stream to the season seven patch notes. We quickly go through them. Well, quickly ish. We read through them, skim through them, see if dice cooked, see where they cooked, see if they didn't cook, see if they did good, see if they didn't do good. I think overall, though, they did a pretty dang good job. SMGs get a lot of love. Uh, ground vehicles uh, get some love. The AA gets nerfed. Rao gets nerfed. There's a bunch of stuff in here. Headshot multipliers are changed. We live react to it live on stream. And if you guys haven't watched the streams, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell to know when we go live or follow you on Twitch. We do multi stream to both. By the way, 65, yes, you heard that right. 65% of the people who watch my videos, stream shorts, all that aren't subscribed. Be sure to hit that sub button. I know the YouTube recommendation system is really good. And sometimes even I forget. That I'm not subscribed to channels because I just keep coming back and coming back and coming back and be like, oh, I must be subscribed. But no, hit the little, little subscribe button down there if you enjoy the video. If not, I can't really help you do anything for you. So I'll leave you guys with the rest of the video. Be sure to like, I'll subscribe, share with your friends. We just gab, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Girl Scouts. See ya. Bye, guys. Battlefield 2042 update 7.0. Welcome to Season 7 Turning Point. Season 7 brings the battle for Earth's most valuable resource to the Atacama Desert in Chile. Aligned with the new enemy, the Thousand Patels Coalition, Eastern forces launch an assault on the desert mining town of El Alicanto to seize control of a massive subterranean water reservoir vital to the Western and U.S. forces. We truly cannot wait to see all of your clips and reactions to Haven when Season 7 arrives and stay tuned in the future to learn more about what has changed with Stadium arriving in a later season update. See you on the battle. Okay. All right, we know about Haven. Yeah, 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 yeah. Obviously, we know about Stadium. We know, we know, we know. We know about the new weapons, right? We don't really have to talk about this, right? Battle Pass, the Draugr, of course. Uh, quality of life improvements. We know about the visual recoil. Headshot multipliers being changed with the SMGs, LMGs, and assault rifles. Infantry and vehicle rebound. This is kind of an overview. What can I... Uh, Excuse me. Visual recoil improvements. We've already kind of seen all of this. Uh, I don't think I have to go over it. They're adding visual recoil to the game, so... Yeah. I mean, wh what is there to say? If it's anything like BF5s, yikes. If it's not, good. But I've been watching some gameplay for it uh, with the people who got invited to the capture events. And uh, it doesn't look as bad as we thought, but of course, we haven't seen it with every single weapon. So, we still gotta be on the lookout here. But yes, visual recoil is being added. We'll see how it goes. Now, the, the headshot multiplier rebalancing is interesting because getting one frame by assault rifles isn't fun. One of the big updates coming in Season 7 is a rebalance of the headshot damage multipliers. These changes will bring a rebalancing of our weapon categories, particularly SMGs, assault rifles, and LMGs, and how they perform at different ranges. We are compressing the headshot multipliers, which results in the characters of these weapons mattering more. Uh, and with this change, we anticipate seeing a better equilibrium between them and when it comes to usage rates, usage rates and competitiveness. So here's a little graph showing uh, the different... The milliseconds and the distance and as you can see they just this is just an example it's just an example with the rm68 the rm68 and the pp29 weirdly enough so i believe they are yeah here we go as an example of these changes we with the above red line the rm60 using high power ammo with the 2.15 x headshot multiplier from update 6.4 and the pp29 is in yellow so there you go and i, I believe they're lowering it where does it say this one, SMGs will not will, will now have a 1.55 headshot multiplier. I don't know what it was before. Does it say? I don't know. But it has the meters. Three headshot kill range has been increased. Uh, uh, un, or, I'm sorry. Under 30 to 50 meters with the same potential for three hot, uh, headshot kill. I don't want to read all of this. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm just sifting through. <laughs> I'm sifting through. I'm more interested in the assault rifles because you get one frame to buy them constantly. So, I'm going to read about the assault. The SMGs, they needed a buff. So... So rivals will not benefit from a 1.9x headshot multiplier instead of a 2.15. That means that in general, they will no longer have a two-headshot kill range in close quarter combat. Instead, require three headshots, which we anticipate is going to be less likely to take place with a single full-auto burst due to the nature of recoil and dispersion. Yikes. This change, will re this change will raise the lowest possible TTK in the close com quarter combat area which are previously too low and lead to frustration by our players, as well as putting too much balance in favor of assault rifles. However, in most cases, it will not affect it will not affect their performance at mid or long range where the archetype of assault rifles naturally sit. Okay, cool. So ARs are getting a headshot multiplier nerf. They deserve it. Getting one framed by them isn't fun. So, yeah. Now, the LMGs I haven't seen anything about. LMGs will not benefit from a 1.9x headshot. Oh, okay, same as ARs. 
similar to above. This now removes a two shot headshot, uh, two head, two headshot kill scenario across the roster addresses instances of extremely low TTK. Well, yeah, you would get one framed. When you got desync and lag and hit reg and two shot head, like you're literally getting one framed. It's what it feels like. This will drive LMGs away from close quarters combat and more to the mid and long range, but will remain at a similar power level when compared to assault rifles. In addition, dispersion has been slightly reduced for the following vault weapons. The M240, the M... Ooh! Ooh! Hold on now. Wait a minute. We got a little sneaky, a little sneaky, sneaky buff to the Type 88, the M60, and the M240. Now, Type 88 is garbage, but they've reduced the dispersion of these three, so when the update drops... Because uh, the update's going to drop like three hours before the Battle Pass progression starts. We're going to have to put these three on and, and see if it's different. See, see how different it is, see if they're any better. Now, they're not changing the damage. Well, they're changing the headshot damage, but they're changing some of the dispersion, which is good. There are more changes taking place across several weapons and archetypes, which you can find out by scrolling down before we hand things over to the vehicle team to share what they've been changing for Season 7. Turning point, we want to thank you for your continued feedback in regards to weapons. You're welcome. Keep it coming. You can continue to do the follow. Okay, so that's it for the, for the weapons. So ARs, LMGs, and SMGs are getting headshot multiplier reductions and increases. I think it's good because the SM there's literally like no reason to use an SMG. Even on like a, a map like Redacted, just use a shotgun. You, why would you even mess with an SMG outside of the PP29 because of the ammo when you could just use a shotty? So I think actually in a weird way, this will be good for, well not in a weird way, but it'll be good for the meta because you'll see maybe, well you probably won't see less shotties because they're pff, ridiculous. But SMGs will be more viable, which will be good. They, they should be more viable on Redacted, I'm guessing on Stadium. They, per they probably purposely did this for, the, for these two maps in particular. You know, it kind of makes sense. Closer quarters, a little bit tighter. You know, bring the SMGs. Use, the SMG usage rate is probably super low. So they wanted to bring them into the fold a little bit. So it makes sense. Now, the, the, <laughs> the, the vehicles, I've seen a couple. Uh, I know, okay, right here. Casper's drone no longer EMP has the EMP ability. You know, I'm just going to read it. Alongside the work that our weapons team is doing across weapons, we're also making changes to how infantry and vehicles interact with each other in Season three or season 7 Turning Point. We're aware that ground vehicles currently face too many threats, both from infantry and other vehicles. Facts. And due to this, it automatically encourages defensive gameplay. I've been saying this, but people want to call me a camp. I hey, hey, hey. Hey, I might tell you a joke. I'm not going to tell you a lie, though. I might tell you a joke. I'm not going to tell you a lie, though. People wonder why I, I play with the tanks the way I play with them. You can't be aggressive with tanks in this game. Get through your thick skulls. Anyways, always been our aim to encourage and empower vehicles so that they feel able to engage with objectives and be alongside their fellow infantry teammates. As such, with this update, we are aiming to lessen the amount of threats towards ground vehicles in order to get... But you're adding the shrub. Anyways, <sighs> in order to give them breathing room, which also uh, ensuring that infantry are capable of engaging too, of course. To achieve this, we are increasing the time before a vehicle can be hacked. Good. We're also removing the EMP t functionality from Casper's drone. That is... A Casper drone could pretty much take you out of the, <laughs> out of the game if somebody wants to be petty. Going forward... This will now be focused more towards spotting infantry and vehicles, which it should have been in the first place. We've continued our work uh, with the gadgets seem to lower the amount of C. I saw this too. Amount of C5 from 3 to 2 on Assault and Recon, which is interesting that they would do that to Assault. Recon, I kind of understand, but Assault, eh, it's kind of weird. While engineers will have access to 3 C5, which is a buff to engineers by nerfing others. Anti-tank mines will now take 2 seconds to activate. I saw this too. Up being placed so they can no longer be used the same fashion as... C5. Okay, I'm, I think I'm done reading all of that. Um, I know that, that they've reduced or they've increased the cooldown for flares and something else I was reading. Uh, yeah, I'm a game. We're removing, uh, we are removing the lock on that exists on the Y. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So now you have to actually track your target in order to lock onto it. They're also removing the 40 millimeter cannon. Because if you guys didn't know, an AA tank could literally go head up with a tank and win because of the 40 millimeter cannon. Person sensitivity on ground turret vehicles. I uh, yeah, the, it feels awful. Turret which is better. So now, so now the turret won't be lagging behind where you look. Okay, good. 
What is up though? Oh, and they, they left the tour how it is, which makes sense. Our final note, finally, we are uh, more changes to take place around the vehicle within our channel. Uh, so Dice is like cooking in a weird way. Not a weird way, but they're cooking. They cooked with the weapon changes. They're cooking with uh, the vehicle changes outside of the flare cooldown increase. That's kind of crazy because, I mean, you literally can't play the game without flares because it's just beep, 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 what, what level would I be right now? Probably like 550. Probably 100 extra levels. Maps and modes. Fix an issue causing the zip line next to the D1 objective to be invisible. Fix an issue causing players to be able to go under the map. No more digging too deep. You never know what waits down there. Ooh, is, that a little, is that a little teaser? Is that a little... I didn't even know these two were a thing, but okay. Redacted. Fix an issue causing a spawn point not working as intended under certain... Cer is Redacted... Is the glitch still active on Redacted where you can put your spawn beacon in the wall? Or did they fix that? I can't remember if they did. Exposure, uh, we don't really care. Portal, I don't give a damn. I, I, I don't care. Fixing the issue causing the stats to play on the left side of the scoreboard to show inaccurate data. Okay. Gadgets. Fixing the issue where the recon drone could exit map boundaries? What? Lowered explosive damage of jet anti-vehicle rocket pods to ground armor vehicles by 15. This change did not affect the train. Okay, so the, the rocket pods got a nerf. See, when uh, colliding with certain objects, that makes sense. <laughs> Increased flare reload time from 12 to 14 seconds. Ah, that's not that bad. That's not that bad at all. Increase the damage regular bullets deal to light air vehicles. Oh, interesting. Improve instances of anti-vehicle rocket pods not registering damage to other vehicles. Really? Hacked again from... Uh, Increase the time before a vehicle can be hacked again from 10 to 12.5. Ooh. Yeah, you little row rats. There you go. Sorry about it. Increased turret sensitivity on all turreted vehicles except the tour. Yeah, makes sense. Wildcat. Increased turret HP from 250 to 550. Remove 40. Lowered the default range from 700. Thank God. Lowered, lowered delay for the turret. This is huge because 700 meters is ridiculous. <laughs> Sound fixes. Okay. Specials and gadgets. Vertical spotting distance of tugs has been decreased. No. So I can't be on top of... Oh, no, wait. that The Tugs does only spot up, right? Or does it spot down, too? I forget. No, my my poor Tugs. Lower the amount of seat. Yeah, we are... Uh, cast, yeah, 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 yeah. Anti-tank mines. On, yeah, we are... Incendiary grenades thrown through smoke will no longer be disabled if they haven't yet started burning. Ooh, interesting. Fix an issue that would make a UI icon so that an EOD bot can now kill enemies that are using Crawford's mounted turret. Now we're left to hot. Wait, you were invincible to the EOD bot if you were on the turret? What? <laughs> Fix instances of projectile inaccuracies when using the RPG against fat. Oh, okay. So RPG buff. Well, RPG fix slash buff. That's good. Updated visual recoil. That sucks. Okay, here we go. SMG headshot multiplier 1.2 to 1.55. That's ooh. Assault rifle and... Assault rifles was higher than the 2.15 to 1.9 from a 2 to a 1.9. So the LMGs didn't really even... I mean... This is a bigger change, obviously, than this is. Increase more s move speed during ADS by 10% for K30, MP9, P90, AC9. Ooh. Here we go. Okay. I have to get McKay and get one of these and just be fucking strafing on people. Improves hit fire actually for the P90, K30. Uh, okay, good. So they're giving, the, they're giving SMGs love in this update. They are giving SMGs love in this update, which they should. They're irrelevant so it makes sense to bring dispersion reset when bursting in line with other smgs it is now a bit faster for ac9 and p90 bullet speed increase 74u p90 pp2000 bullet speed decreased oh for the pp29 10 percent of course the pp29 is probably the number one used smg so it makes sense dispersion reduced by 10 percent. we already went over that in my 3 dispersion has received some changes in the way it's calculated and biased and biased within the dispersion circle, resulting in approximately 10% better accuracy, most noticeably when dis dispersion is high. Ooh, okay. So, yeah. Okay. So, uh, okay. Fix uh, clipping when using the Fusion Hollow and the M40. Okay, so a bunch of weapon changes that 
Fix instances of clipping a third person on the vehicle when using different ammo types. Oh, talking about in the in the screen. Yeah, that does happen. AC-42 gets its own section. Dispersion has been reduced for the first burst, but dispersion reset has not been tweaked so that it doesn't fully reset between bursts when firing at close to maximum PM. When firing a control burst in, in compensation for recoil, it will be possible to hit with higher accuracy over longer ranges. It now behaves closer to other burst firing weapons and should provide a good... Wow. Okay, a little AC... So the AC-42 is going to be back to being a laser gun. Oh, good. <laughs> Damage curve tweaked, reduced damage from 26 to 25, from 0 to 30. Uh, standard issue damage reduced from 20. To, yeah, okay, this makes... They're, they're increasing the accuracy, but they're making damage changes. That makes sense. Glock. I don't really care about pistols too much, to be honest with you. Body, body armor gadget will now add extra protection against buckshot and flechette ammo. Hit the torso, but not the uh, limbs or head. Uh, that's going to be annoying on redacted, but it is what it is. It is what it is. L S one laser. Uh, okay, and that's that's the end. So pretty good. They cooked. The SMGs are getting a lot of love. Uh, vehicle versus infantry has been rebalanced quite a lot. Rao got a got a nerf. Um, Flares got a slight nerf. SMGs got a buff. The Wildcat has been gutted, which it deserves. No more forty millimeter cannon. The range on the on the main cannons has been reduced from seven hundred to five fifty. I think it said. So they cooked. What a lot of this. The flare cooldown is whatever. I don't really agree, but because the game's unplayable without flares. And I know what you're going to say. Well, I mean, that is. But, yeah, so. I think it's a good update overall. Good update overall. Too, too bad we're not actually getting hardly anything in the update. But, hey, you know, <laughs> we need something, don't we? So, yeah, do I outro it here or do I put it in the editor and outro it? Am I even going to make this a video? I don't know. Will anybody care? Will anybody click on it? Will anybody watch it? I don't really know. So, uh, yeah, I'll outro it. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. All links in the description down below. Discord, Twitter, all that stuff. We do try to stream every single day over here on YouTube.com slash JustGav. And we're also multi-streaming on Twitch. Right now, as a matter of fact, when I'm recording this, we're live. And we're going over the patch notes. So, if you guys want to watch the streams over here, stay over here. Hit that notification bell. Know when we go live. Follow your boy on Twitch. I think it sends notifications no matter what. And uh, we'll be live early in the AM for Season 7. So... Come stop by and give your boy a holla. So, yeah, I'm going to get out of here. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, Girl Scouts. See ya. Bye, guys.